Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So today I'm at Kenny Upol, and uh, well, I came out here really quickly because there was a Jetta wagon like mine. And I guess the hatch was good because someone took the hatch, but they took the rear quarter too. So, anyways, along with the point of this video, we will uh, go through the junkyard and see what kind of cars we can find. For the first one, it's like a town and country. Actually, no. Sorry, Eric. I just had to say it. Um, he hates those things. But what I am going to show you is this Blazer S10, which I don't think it's a Blazer S10 really, but this one, I believe, has been repainted, and the S10 badge has been put on. As you can see, it's got some cancer, some very rusty wheels, but it has a decent tailgate. with bad window tint. Yeah, and the rust gets a fair bit worse on this side. It's uh looks like it's all bondo down here and around and across. We'll take a look inside to see how many kilometers are on it, but I'm not getting inside. But it looks like there is There we go. 357,000 kilometers on it. Wow, it's actually a lot. It's pretty good that it went that long. Manual windows, manual locks, red interior. The back seat is in great shape. And the driver front, the passenger front seat's in okay shape. Floors look to be softened. <laughs> S10 blazer on this side. And under the hood of this one, I believe that is the 4.3 liter V6. This would be the non-Vortec, the old T TBI. Frame looks all right. Looks like it's uh, maybe I spoke too soon. There's rust there, but you don't see these around much anymore in the, in the first place. But yeah, oh yeah, this frame is uh, pretty crusty actually. Maybe it's not that good. Bottom of the door is like completely separating, and the bondo. Anyways, let's get on to the next car now. But as you can see, it was red before. Anyways, on to the next. Well guys, here is our second victim for the day. This one is a early 90s Mercury Sable, which I'll tell you right now, because I'll look, I think it's a 93, maybe? And yep, 93. So this one has only a little bit of mileage on it. It has 133,000 kilometers. And look at this guy's. It's got the original keys to it too. I can't remember what it is. I think it's circle key for the doors and square key for the ignition. Nope, it's not. Square key for the doors. Trunk release and fuel door release right next to it. Uh, there's even a spare key in there, but whatever. We'll go around the outside of it and then we'll come back. Clean. The shock towers are good. See so your center caps are right there.
low mileage and really clean. Wow, even the rockers are solid. The undercarriage good too? Oh my gosh. The undercarriage is actually fairly decent. I'm impressed. That's pretty good. I love the whole windows all the way around thing. It makes it for very little blind spots. The back seat is in mint shape too, other than a little bit of dirt. It's like mint. Oil sprayed. Wow, someone took good care of this. Ashtray in the doors. In the back. And under the hood. It has the 3 liter V6 Vulcan. That's a great engine too. This thing could have been on the road for a lot longer. These old Fords. I wish they, this one was on the road. I would actually save it, I think, because it's actually not that bad. And for 93, hoods are held up by gas shocks. Did see a tape in the radio, though. So let's take a look and what tape is in it. Just a storage pocket there. And we have the Beatles. 1962 to 1966. Songs, you've got to hide your love away, we can work it out, Norwegian wood, this bird has fl flown in my life, in my life girl, sorry, paperback writer, Eleanor Rigby, help, day tripper, drive my car, nowhere man, Michelle, yellow submarine. Wow, that's an oldie. Good music though, really good music. Anyways, this thing's in really good shape. It's unfortunate that it's here. Anyways though, let's go on to the next one. This is just a, uh, yeah, there's nothing too special about the car, but this thing's in like fantastic shape. I wouldn't have sent it here. Let's go on to the next one now though. Well, guys, here's for the third victim. This one, I think, is a 1998 Nissan Frontier. Limit exception, I don't really know what that is, but, uh... Oh, it's a parking permit. I'm going to open up the door, and we'll take a look at the what year it is and stuff right now. It is a 0798, so that would mean it's a 98. I think it might be a 99. Power windows in the back. I guess I have this then. I don't know. That must be power windows. And then this one, I don't have any clue what it is. Door handle release, tweeter speaker, full size speaker. Have your running boards here. And the interior is actually quite clean. If I was to guess, which I can't tell you, but I would guess it has around 200,000 kilometers on it by the cleanliness of this interior. You know, and it's five speed too. Aluminum wheels. And under the hood, we have a four cylinder. I think it's a no, 2.4 liter. I was thinking of the 2.2. It's a 2.4 liter four cylinder. Chrome bumper. Battle scar there. And in the box, we have a bumper. But someone get the got it Linexed in Hamilton. Nice job, actually. The Line X looks really good. I wonder why it's here. He doesn't take care of it. It's not that rusty. Unless the frame's rotten. Which, actually, no, the frame isn't rotten. Wow. 
I wonder why it's here. Hmm. Almost fell over there. What's this thing? Oh, that's an old parking pass. And we have an old Panasonic aftermarket radio. It's actually pretty sweet looking. <laughs> Looks nicer than the ones we have now. And it has a remote too. It did have a sub and stuff in it. I'm not going to bother with the wiring because this is so short being in a truck. But I... Uh, it had a remote starter by the looks of it. So someone liked this truck. Someone took decent care of it, but someone just gave up on it. Anyways, let's go on to the next one now. Okay guys, so for the final one in this video, I figured I'd show you the car I came here to look at. This is a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta wagon, and I was hoping the hatch was still here. <coughs> this one is the TDI, with the 1.9 liter ALH. The pretty much holy grail of Volkswagen diesels. <laughs> but, um, it's pretty rough in a way, like the bumper's all mangled up and scraped. There's a dent in this fender, the little rust down there. The mirror broke off of it. Someone smashed this window out of it. Sadly, it's automatic. The cloth interior, which seemed a lot better days. And there's a dent in this door. A few scrapes down here. And the hatch is gone, but also that driver rear quarter is gone too. Good tire has been pulled out of it. Travis number 213. Hmm. 03 Jetta. Maybe this was repainted at some point. But as you can see, they literally took everything out of it. The back end, because uh, I guess someone got into a collision back here probably. And they just took the whole rear end. No more latching on this door, at least. <laughs> the interior's alright. It's not, like, awful. It's not clean by any means, but... <clears throat> you could clean it up. Tint is in rough shape. And the mirror is missing, just like mine fell off. I put mine back on, of course. Yeah, this one's sort of dirty, but it's not awful. It's cleanable, but no one would bother. There's a sunroof in it, too. And, well, guys, this is a little sack for me, because I came all the way up here looking for the hatch, but the hatch was gone. And so was everything else I would take from it. Anyways, guys, that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button as well as subscribe. Have a great day, everyone.